So, 2020. That was a year. Yeah. Th this isn't water, this is whiskey. I need it. And, um, and this is my big microphone. And I am Melissa Klein. Uh, so I'm here to do a little stand up routine. I've been threatening to do this for some time and I pre apologized to my mother. So there you go. Um, I never thought that as an American that I would ever be in a situation where I would be desperate to buy toilet paper. Now, I have always believed in buying in bulk because I am my mother's daughter. And she always taught us, that's what you do. You buy a lot of toilet paper. And we were a family of six. So there was a lot of toilet paper in stock at all times. Like it pretty much took up the entire linen closet toilet paper. So when the pandemic hit, I had actually just fairly recently bought a huge quantity from Costco because that's just what I did every six months or so, you know, uh, the, and the timing, thank God on that one was right. But then I noticed as the pandemic wore on and my toilet paper supply became lower, I was so grateful I have toilet paper dolls that I had little stockpiles of it to get me through. <laughs> to, so when I get on, I found myself kind of looking on the shelves like, hmm, wow, it's still out. Wow, three weeks later, it's still out. And my cat was getting worried. <laughs> how is she going to wipe her butt? Um, and so that was a real wake up call to me that the world is not what I thought it was at all. And it took toilet paper to teach me that. Now, in some ways, um, when this first hit at the time, I was on a dating app and I remember, and I was dating or trying to date or trying to do something, whatever. And I remember thinking like, oh my God, how, I, it, it, I think it happened actually in reverse order. My first thought was, how will I get more material for standup if I'm not dating? Because I'd actually kind of given up on finding or meeting somebody because I'd had so many horrible experiences in the last few years that I was like, you know, I, it kind of became my mantra almost like, thanks for the material. <laughs> um, and I even got to a point where I felt like I needed to warn the guy, like the, the guy would start to be doing something stupid and I would go, you do know I do stand up. And sometimes it'd be on text, sometimes it'd be live and sometimes it'd be, you know, a video chat you do know I do stand up, don't you? Didn't you read my bio? And they'd be like, no, that's really cool. And I think, oh shit, man, you know, because I'm like trying to warn the guy, like, dude, don't give me more material. Please don't give me material. I don't want to go through another stupid experience. And they'd be like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it didn't stop them. Like, I would be horrified if I met somebody who did stand up, I'd be like, oh my God, swipe left. Like, because I'd be like, I would give the dudes so much material with all the stupid things that I do. But the difference is that I'm not trying to do stupid things. I can't believe that they actually are, but they are. Um, but I discovered that actually men still gave me plenty of materials through the mirror. And I also shut down doing, um, online dating. And I'll tell you why, <laughs> because my initial thought was like, oh, this will force everybody to slow down. It's such a merry-go-round people hopping in and out of bed too much, not really getting to know each other. You know, maybe I can connect with and get to know somebody slowly you know, because there's the risks are so high to, to meet somebody, even just for coffee, there's like, you will die, you know, <laughs> I was like, and kill all your family, like, oh my god, so, you know, you want to try to screen people, make sure that there is something, if you're going to die, that they're, like, maybe worth meeting, have a good conversation with, at least, and, and so I thought, okay, this will be cool, so, 
what happened though, I discovered is I thought, slow down, get to know somebody. And the guys thought, well, I can't fuck them in person. So I'll have to have them as webcam girls. So this is what happened for me would be, um, and it happened on more than one occasion. And maybe I just pick the gems, but um, so I have a nice, decent conversation uh, through the dating app. And then, which they do things like they do not allow pictures. They do not allow that. Why do they not allow pictures? They also don't allow video chatting. Why do they not allow video chatting? I'll tell you why. So when you we get to a point where I'm like, okay, you seem cool. You're not going to do anything stupid, right? And you do know I do stand up, and then you know, <laughs> and then we'd have a video chat. And I remember this is how we got. This is and it happened more than once. So I'd be like, hi, nice to meet you, and he'd be like, hi. I'd be like, what, what, what are you doing? what are you doing? I'd be like, what are you, what are you doing? You know, and then he'd be like, and I'd be like, God, no, stop it, 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 stop it. And then I'd hang up, you know, but then there'd be a lot of texting because I'd be really mad and my cat would be mad too, because I'd be so mad. And um, yeah, don't make my cat mad. And, and so, and then they'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. But I think they'd already come by then. And it was just like, oh, so I had to sh shut that down. Um, you know, and I got dick pics uh, through Facebook Messenger, you know, agreed to friend somebody thinking I was expanding my audience as an artist and discovered, nope, <laughs> there we go. Okay, block. And I wasn't even bothered by it. Um, there were some slight advantages to all this in that, um, <laughs> that I would, my cat doesn't think so though. There were some slight advantages in that I would, um, had a good reason to not be hugged by strange men in the fucking grocery store. And there's a certain type of guy that for some reason thinks that he's my type and I'll tell you what he looks like. You've seen him, you know him. His name is probably Dave. And Dave has a skimpy little ponytail that's graying. He's balding on top. At one point he had hair like mine, but that was in the sixties and it's not true anymore. He's also wearing a Grateful Dead t-shirt from the 1970s and he wants a hug. He's like, hi. And I'm like, I, and, and meanwhile, I'm like, do I know this guy? I don't really know. Hi, we met a long time ago and it's so good to see you. And I'd be like, ah! no, 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 I, no, I know, I don't, I don't, I don't hug. And they'd be all like, oh, what's wrong with you? Are you frigid or something? And I'd be like, yeah, dude, I'm frigid for you. I mean, no. And now, so suddenly having COVID, I, I could be like, yeah, you stay six feet away. And I've also realized too, like, I don't know exactly, I haven't measured it, but I think my arms are pretty much under six feet. I hope they are, <laughs> you know, on, on their own. And so I'm now I'm like, you know, if you're within here, you're within six feet and I can hit you. Um, and it's perfectly okay because I'm just protecting my bubble. So I like that. That was good. Um, the other thing that I discovered is that um, that after a while, I just felt like, you know, it's not me, it's them. And I had a, 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 one of my bosses, one of my supervisors when I was teaching, I had a bunch of uh, kind of bitchy students who were always like, they kept blaming this one kid on everything. It's all his fault. He did it. 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 You know, and my supervisor said, well, have you told them that if when you point the finger, three fingers are pointing back at you? And, and that's a way to sort of explain it to them that they need to take some personal responsibility. 
So I took that to, to my students and they went, no, it's him. And then they just, they, they, their answer was to point the finger like this. You can't. <laughs> they did it with both their hands. <laughs> well, you know, but I did feel like that maybe could be the situation. So what did I learn? I learned what's really important uh, in this time. And I learned that there are the people who really do love me, like my, my family and to make them more of a priority and to and that there's also the friends who really are my friends and who are understanding and to make the time to be with those friends um remotely <laughs> because you know what i don't they are too precious to me to want to take any sort of chances with um doesn't matter how careful you are you know it's 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 too too easy to contract so and i produced a buttload of art and i discovered how to take care of myself better and to love myself better and to not allow these various people fuck boys or whatever you want to call them to disrespect me anymore um, and to demand that as well. So I am hoping and I'm holding the intention that from the rubble of 2020, that 2021 will be a time of great transformation and growth. So holding that intention for everybody, even the little fuck boys. Have a great day, have a great year. I'm Melissa Klein and thank you for watching.